Hey guys, this is Chris with Affiliate Tube, and today I'm going to be doing a videosly review for you. Under this video, you'll find a couple links. One of them will take you to my website here at affiliatetube.com where you can learn more about videosly. And the other one will take you to the videosly official website where you can go there and you can learn more about the product. Uh, they have a lot of extra demos there you can view as well. But I got early access to videosly, and so my goal today. Um, is to take you inside the members area and give you a full videosly review and show you exactly how it works, what it does. I'll make a little uh, video using this app. Um, that way you'll know exactly what it is if you do want to buy it. And so here we are inside of the videosly dashboard. You can see here I got the videosly pro. Um, really simple to use if you've never made videos before if you don't want to be in videos or if you're just looking for an app that will allow you to easily create uh, short videos by using content you can find throughout the internet then this is the tool for you and I want to show you just how easy it is so here we are inside and the first thing you're going to do is you want to go over to your account settings and if you go down here to integrations you can integrate things um, such as your active uh, campaign, uh, different auto responder services, AWeber, uh, AWS for Amazon, campaign monitor, get response, go to webinar and eye contact. Those can be integrated and it will allow you to um, add opt-in forms and such to your videos. You can put before the video, after the video, and it will allow them to either have to opt-in or optionally opt-in and then you can redirect them after that it's really neat um, but here we are we want to create a video the first thing you want to do is set a title I've already got mine kinda of laid out and found the content for it and what I'm going to do my video on is content writing um, tips for content writing so we're just going to name it content writing and then I can paste a blog URL here this can be any website and what videos Lee is going to do is it's going to take all the content from that website pull it into Videosly and then you can select the content that you want to put within your video and if you don't want to do it that way and if you have your own content you can click right here and it'll pop up a little box here and then it'll allow you just to enter your own uh, content that you have if you want to do it but I'm going to use the article on this website just gonna paste it and click continue and it just takes it a second and now over here you're going to see everything that it pulls all the text from that page and so I'm going to scroll down here and find the article which starts right here and there's tips on this page about how to be a content writer and that's the only thing that I want to put on these slides so I'm going to go ahead and just click it you can see it automatically puts it over here on the right hand column we'll do number two three four and five so now we have five different tips on being um, a content writer so once we have all that we can rearrange it put them in different orders the way we like them and once we have that done we can get down here and click continue okay and so what it's done is it's taken these five pieces of content that we put in here and it's arranged them on five different slides we can scroll through and see so now what we need to do is we can either add or upload our own content we want to use for the backgrounds or for images um, or videos and put for each one of these slides or we can use the ones that videos already or videos Lee's already has and so what I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead and put content and hit enter okay let's do writing or actually Let's try keyboard there we go okay and all we have to do is just hover over each one of these and grab down here where the X is up to the slides and it'll automatically paste it with each one so take this one up here and we'll use this one for here and we got two more so we'll use this one and this one and all of these are videos and you can hover over them and it'll give you uh, what they look like before you put them on here I'm gonna I like this one I'm gonna put it here instead okay so once you have all these slides picked out 
you can then further edit it. Um, just click on the one you want to edit, and and what it's going to do is it's going to give you options. So let's we'll just start with uh, we'll just start with this one here, and this is the number two tip. I like its background. The white shows up really good on it, but if for some reason the white didn't show up, we can go down here and we can add a background color to it so it stands out more. We can use a highlight color. So if we click in this text, we can select what we want and we can come down here to highlight color and choose like yellow. And that will add this color and it'll change it. And we can resize it and we can move it up or down or wherever we want it. So if there's a specific place on your slide you want it to show up, we can do that. And you can also add additional frames in here. So if you forgot something, oh no, I wanted to add a slide for this too. All you have to do is click this add frame and it's going to add another one here and allow you to add in whatever text you want, um, backgrounds. I'm going to delete it for now. now. This one here we can't see at all, so we're going to go down to font color and we'll change it to black. Okay, so back here at number one, we can make it larger background color I'll just choose black and that's really black so I'll go to transparency and move it down some so it's not quite as black and also it'll make it a little more see-through okay so there's two three four this one here we got to change the font color to black we can make it a little bit bigger and this one here will also change it to black and then we'll make the background on this one white and make the text a little bit bigger alright now after we have this done and our content set up the way we want it um, the only thing we have left to do is add music which they have their own music here they have a text-to-speech option you can upload your own audio I kinda like this one here You can. You can preview it and then if you want it all you have to do is just come over here and select the track and it adds it. Next is branding where you can add your own watermark. If you hover over these question marks it'll tell you the sizes and tell you what you should do with it. Uh, last scene tells you that uh, you can use 1920 by 1080 which is obviously really good resolution. Um, and then credit scene if you want a credit scene added on last it'll add a final slide here for your credits which I'm not going to do all that and then you can also collect leads through your videos by using a lead capture form you can enable it here show it at the beginning show it at the end or after so many seconds uh, add a headline with content and then after they click the button you can tell it whether you want it to play the video or to uh, redirect to some other page um, so that options there and once we have that done we just click save and then continue and then it asks us how do we want to publish this video do we want to use the regular or square and if we do square it's going to add a text box at the top and bottom where we can put content in which would be good if you're doing some kind of a promotional video for a client or something like a CPA offer and you want to put a phone number up here you can do that as well but I'm just going to keep mine here and if I want a phone number I'll just put it right here in the slide itself uh, resolution we'll just do 1280 so it takes less time to render and I'm going to click publish and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause this video because depending on the length of the video it can take upwards of five ten minutes for it to render the video but once it's done it'll send you an email letting you know it's done then you come back here and check it you can download it upload it to YouTube Facebook whatever it is so uh, basically that's my videos lead review just wanted to give you guys an overview of what it's like in the members area and how it works and the options that are available and like I said I did get the early release of this software so it's not completely done yet there's a lot of things yet that they're going to be adding and putting in there so uh, it's already uh, very good software and I'm anxious to see what it's going to look like once it's actually launched here I believe on May the 9th so uh, if you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel like this video and make sure you visit my website the links under this video here on affiliatetube.com where you can subscribe and get my free video marketing course for YouTube so if you're doing any kind of video marketing with these videos where you want to upload them to YouTube and get better rankings um, or just learn more about optimizing or video marketing in general 
um, I have a whole page dedicated with I believe about 10 different videos that will show you step by step all these so check it out um, the links also there under this video they'll take you to the videosly website where you can learn more about it and you can also uh, see more demos of what it can do so I hope you guys found this um, useful and um, it'll help you make a better decision whether you want to buy videosly or not thanks Thank you.